Senwick is just down the street from Barnes's bookshop. Is this lousy attitude of yours because of my altercation with Inspector Lockhart? Did he put you up to this? Sir, the Inspector has nothing to do with it. I'm telling you the same thing I tell anyone seeking a missing person. <clears throat> Good day, gentlemen. Forgive the intrusion. Captain Stenwick, this is my colleague Sherlock Holmes, the consulting detective I told you about. At last, a professional. This useless officer refuses to do anything about Kimmy here, my missing servant. What was your name again? I shall be certain to inform your superiors. Sergeant Ruffles. And it's my superiors who made this decision, sir. Why has the police department decided not to help? We investigate murders, thefts, fraud, arson, real crimes. A servant walking away from his master is not our highest priority. That said, if we find Kimi here breaking the law, we'll be sure to notify Captain Stenwick. Have there been other disappearances lately? Of course, here and there. But when life is tough and opportunity comes knocking, you can't blame those who answer. Now, I must be off. Best of luck in your search. <laughs> you heard that, didn't you? The way that man spoke to me. I shall need your written testimony. Then we can lodge a complaint. Captain, perhaps Mr. Holmes' time is better spent learning about your servant, so that he may begin his investigation. Ah, yes. Quite right. Fire away. Tell me about Kimi here. He's foreign. A Maori. All the way from New Zealand. Biggest man you've ever seen, and as strong as two. Dark hair and fearsome tattoos. He doesn't speak a whit of English, never bothered to learn. But I made do with pointing. I invested a lot of money in him, so he must be found. When did you last see your servant? Kimmy here normally brings me the morning papers, but yesterday I had to get them myself. He must have escaped the night before yesterday. May I see your servant's bedroom? His shack is in the garden. You can't miss it. Did you search the room? Of course, but only to check he wasn't lying dead inside. Everything seemed normal at a glance. Is there any reason Kimahir may have left? I should think not. He had all he could have wanted. Gainful employment, new clothes, and all the cabbage he could eat. I take it this is the first time Kimahir has vanished? Undoubtedly. The man seemed terrified of the city. I think it was all the noise. He never left this estate. Should he cause any damage, I will bear the responsibility, for it was I who rescued him from savagery and brought him here to England in the first place. Did Kimmer here make off with anything of value? Heavens, no. I would have mentioned it to Sergeant Ruffles. Still, he must have fled with some money on his person? No, no. I kept his wages in my safe. For security. All right, Captain. I think I have enough to get started. We shall first take a look around the mansion. Go ahead. I'll be here, mentally drafting my complaint. Why are you still here? 